Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, and today I'm here with the first game of a new season with a new project that I'm going to do, which is similar to the project that I was doing before, but um, the uh, you might remember the alternate league. Well, the alternate league got stopped because it was on my other computer, and my other computer died. So... I'm trying something similar, but one thing that I didn't like about the alternate league um, was that you had a lot of players from um, different franchises on a certain team, you know. So, like, you would have a guy that was like a lifetime Detroit Tiger would have been on maybe like the White Sox. So I didn't like that. So what we're doing, uh, we're going to start a league called the, I'm calling it the Atlantic League as you can see highlighted here on the left-hand side of the screen. And um, what we're doing is uh, we're going to draw people from the uh, 2020 Imagined League. We're going to draw people from the 1986 American League. And we're going to draw, draw people from some, uh, some people from the 1970 American League and from the 1911 American League from the franchises that um, are up here. So, for instance, um, if we look at the, uh, if we go back to the Atlantic League and we look at my White Sox, because that's who I'm going to have in this one, you look at the White Sox, you can see Carlton Fisk is on the team, and he was a real White Sox. And um, let's see, who do we have? You can see Bill Mel Belton, Bill Melton, and he's on the team, and he was a real White Sox. Um, and, uh, Wilbur Wood, you can see Wilbur Wood is on the team. He was a real White Sox, so you get the idea. Um, I just, I didn't want to grab people from all kinds of different franchises. I didn't want to have the computer do the draft and draft people from all different franchises and put them on, on the teams. So these are really, this, the Atlantic League is really a base of the 1994 American League with um, 86 American League players added, with 1970 American League players added, with 1911 American League players added, and 2020 Imagine. And the reason I used the Imagined League for the um, to draw players from was because the Imagined League was Stratomatic's um, extrapolation of how people would have ended up had the 2020... Um, uh, season gone more than like 60 games. So uh, if I had drawn them from the real 2020, um, the uh, real 20, well, I don't even think I have the 2020 real league up. But anyway, you know, if I was to draw them from that, that would have only resulted in players that only had 60 games worth of it, bats and innings pitched. Another thing I did do with the um, American League, or with the Atlantic League, since it's based on the 1994 American League, that was a strike-shortened season. There was only 115 games. So I also made everybody, I, uh, you know, made the stats for everybody be 115% of what uh, everybody's numbers are. Now, for some players, that's going to result in them having a real lot of innings pitched and a ton of at-bats. But for some players, it makes it just barely, you know, um, usable. And in case you don't know how to do that, you, uh, you just go up to Edit. Let's see. You go up to League, and then you go down to um, Adjust League Stats. And you can see right here, you have the option to make this whatever you want. One is the standard, and that's the, you know, what everybody is. But if what I did was I made it 1.15. But anyway, we're not going to do that because I already did that. That means we're ready to get on with the first game of the season. And so we will play day. And uh, we'll wait a minute. Why did we play? We weren't supposed to have played. I mean, I'd like that we won, but... Um, all right, I'm going to restart the league. It, it shouldn't have done that because I had already gone in. Uh, some teams to manual. 
others to autoplay. Okay. Some teams to manual, others to autoplay. Oh, wait a minute. No. No. Now pick Chicago. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now we'll go in it. Now it should work. Play day and yes. Okay, so now that worked. All right, I don't know what happened before. I thought I'd already set it. But anyway, you can see these scores are in. Texas beat New York 9-4. Seattle uh, beat Cleveland 4-3. Kansas City whooped up on Baltimore 16-2. Um, Boston beat Detroit 11-4. And we are going to have our first game of the season. Now, I, these are my lineups. So this is all, and my pitching rotation is already in there and set. So you can see I'm going to start off. Uh, my lineup is going to be Tim Raines in left, uh, Lance Johnson in center, Frank Thomas, the big hurt at first base, Franco at DH, Ventura at third, Fisk will be the catcher, Jackson in right, Guillen at shortstop, and Cora at second. So the only non-1994 guy is Fisk, because I drew him from the 86 White Sox. For the um, Toronto Blue Jays, you're going to have Alomar at second, Molitor at DH, Carter in right, Olerud at first, Devon White in center, Delgado in left, Sprague at third, Schofield at short and Borders at catcher, so he doesn't even have anybody that's non-1994 in his lineup, which is fine, you know, we'll, we'll go along with that. So, we're playing in Toronto, and Pat Hentgen is pitching against Reigns to start this off, and Reigns is going to be out, he grounds out to second base, that brings up Lance Johnson, Lance Johnson is going to rip a single, he rips a single past the shortstop Schofield. And so he is aboard, and Frank Thomas is up. I am not stealing or doing anything crazy, but he strikes out. Or he will after this foul ball is resolved. And he does. So there's two down with Johnson at first. You know what? Maybe I'll steal now. Um, so let me see. How do I even do that? been so long since I played this game. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, so let me let me try stealing a base. And he did not do it, but you know what? With two outs, I'm going to try it anyway with 40%. And no, he way was thrown out. Okay, so Blackjack McDowell's out to the mound to pitch to Alomar. And Alomar gets a board. So there's one on, no outs, and Molitor is up, and oh, we're just going to hold on to the ball. And uh, that is going to be an out, I think. Yep, so there's one down, Joe Carter is up. Now Joe Carter I could have put on um, either Toronto or Cleveland. But I chose to keep him on. Um, oh, man. Olerud is going to get the first run of the game. Knock the first run of the game in. Well, yeah, we're going to... I'm not going to try to throw him out. Not. It's too early for that. Olerud, or uh, Devon White is going to get a single and move Olerud over to first, or over to third. And so now you got Carlos Delgado up. And it Del Delgado, it's a home run. So McDowell is getting... He's getting jacked on early. Jack Black Jack is getting jacked, and so Ed Sprague is up, and the um, the Blue Jays have a four nothing lead here. So we're back up at the plate. We got to have some runs. You got uh, Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is going to get a base hit. Now he was getting old at this time, so he's not a great base stealer. We're going to let Ventura hit. Ventura is going to line out to first. And Carlton Fisk. And Carlton Fisk is going to ground out to second. Second base X. Let's see if it's a double play. It is. Taylor made double play. So, 
Um, Black Jack is back out to the mound. There is a line out. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, and it was kind of surprising as I was going through, because you have to tweak these um, rosters after you say, like, generate computer manager. The manager, the computer manager still does squirrely things. Like, he'll have a starter or two who are only starters that are on the roster, but they're not in the starting rotation. And that doesn't help the team at all because it's just taking up roster spots. So I went through and I had to fix things like that. Um, but in the process of doing that, and we're back up, we've got Darren Jackson up. I don't think that's the real Darren Jackson. That photo seems uh, wrong. But anyway, um, maybe it is. Eh, maybe it is. I don't know. Ozzy Guillen is up with one down. Um, but what I noticed is that in 1994, there were a lot of relievers on almost every team that were terrible. I mean terrible. ERAs in the sixes and sevens, which I, I found kind of shocking. I mean, I know it wasn't a full season, but it was a 115-game season. So you would have think you would have thought that a lot of the the uh, relief pitchers would have figured figured stuff out by then. Olerud is up with one down here in the third, and he's going to rip a double. Olerud has been killing us. He's at second. Devon White is up, and I don't want to really burn out my bull. Pen, we're only here in game one, so and that's going to be a single double asterisk. That's going to, you know what? I'm going to try to throw for the runner. Did I get him? I did not. So he scored. It's five nothing. I'm going to throw. No, Sprague is going to make it and go to third. Maybe no, no, or Delgado. So uh, Sprague is out. And they're back in the field, but they're up 5 nothing. Tim Raines, Tim Rock Raines is going to line out. I mean, I've got Melton on the bench. He starts against um, righties, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, at third base. So I've got him, but uh, you would only use him if you had a chance to come back. That's a walk by the Big Hurt. So there is two down, and Franco is up. And Franco's going to pop out to third. Henkin is just shutting us down. I mean, he is he's closing the door on us. Um, Dick Schofield's up. That's not the real Dick Schofield in this purposes. That's his father. But anyway, <laughs> but, you know, there's only so much I can do with the pitchers. Um, so Borders walks. Alomar is up, and he is going to line out, thankfully. So that's two down. I mean, we're all we're down 5 nothing. It's a lot. That's a lot for even this offense to come back. And I think we do have a very good offense on this team. And uh, Robin Ventura is not going to get a home run. <laughs> He's going to get a deep fly ball is what he's going to get. And Fisk is up, and Fisk is going to hit a fly ball. Now, my other catcher is Karkovice. He was the original 94 guy, but he was also a terrible hitter. Darren Jackson is going to strike out. So we can't get anything going against Henkin is really what's going on. Molitor is up, and Molitor is going to fly out. Joe Carter is up, and I, you know, it's nice to see that McDowell's kind of settled down now, but we're already down 5 nothing, so that doesn't really help us. And a fly out by Olerud, who has been a fire in our face all game. And so we go back to the offense and uh, top of the sixth inning with Guillen up. And we got to get something going here. He's going to hit it to Alomar, which is a bad guy to hit it to because that's going to be an out. Cora is up. And Cora is going to be hit by pitch, and uh, he's going to be out for a while, too. So I'm going to put in Patsy Daugherty to pinch hit or pinch run for him. And then I'm going to try to uh, steal with Patsy Daugherty. 
And then I'm going to try to still attempt to steal. And he makes it. So Patsy Doherty, pinch running, steals second, and Reigns is up. And he's going to hit a single that's going to knock in a run. So we've got one of our runs back. Oh, wait a minute. Not yet. Um, there's one out. God. You know what? I'm going to hold the runner. 65% is not that good. I would have thought Patsy Doherty would automatically make it on that. Lance Johnson is a batter. He's going to hit a fly ball. Let's see if Doherty can score on that. He probably can, and I am going to send him and try to make it. So it is to 5-1, but now we've got two outs and reins at first base. Uh, let me see if I can steal second. 80%. Let's try it. Ooh, 5% it drops to. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to try with the big hurt. And the big hurt puts the big hurting on that ball. And now it's only 5-3. So we are starting to claw our way back into this game. And that's going to be a single by Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco and Ventura is up. And Ventura is going to line out. But it's 5-3. We're getting closer. I do have to replace our second baseman. Um, so, um, hmm. Okay, yeah, we have to replace Daugherty with a second baseman. And that's going to be Grayback. Because at least he can play second base. All right, so I'm going to let Black Jack, like I said, he's kind of settled down a little bit. I'm going to let him pitch at least the sixth here. Delgado is up. Delgado is going to rip a single, though. So he's on first. Sprague is up. Sprague hasn't done anything all day, which is really great. Ooh, Delgado again, stealing a base. Who knew Delgado had that kind of speed? And he got picked off. Love it. So now there's two outs and Sprague up at the... Oh man, they put a little too much faith in Delgado's ability to steal, I think. And that was an out. So Fisk is up at the plate. And Fisk is going to be out. Again, Fisk not a very good hitter that year. Darren Jackson is up. He is going to pop out. We're in the seventh, so it's getting late. And Gian is up. And Gian's going to hit it and get a base hit. Now Graybeck is up. God, I'm going to let Graybeck hit. And he's going to line out. So. I'm going to let, um, I'm going to let, um, McDowell pitch the seventh, and that was a bad idea. Dick Schofield somehow leads off with a double against him. Uh, the next guy's going to walk, so he's already in trouble, and now I'm going to go to the bullpen. Now we will go to the bullpen. I'm going to go get Wilbur Wood. So Wilbur Wood, now he is a non-1994 guy. And they move the runners over with a bunt. And then he strikes out Molitor, which is awesome. So now there's runners at second and third, two down. All he's got to do is get Joe Carter. That's all. He's got to do it. He doesn't do it. It's going to be a single and maybe score two runs. No, just one. Well, thankfully. So it's 6-3, and then he strikes out Olerud, who was has been really great today. So now we're down by three again. Um, we've got Timmy Raines up. Got to get back into this. And, and really, these players, I've got good players that can hit and get on base. So we can get back into this. But it's getting late. Lance Johnson is the batter. Lance Johnson's going to fly out. 
And that is two down and the big hurt. The big hurt is going to hit a double. <coughs> well, you would think I've, I've got to go to Melton here. I think I do. So we're going to go visitor. Melton is going to pinch hit for Franco. And he can stay in at DH. But he strikes out. After he fouls out, or fouls down the line, he's going to strike out. So, that's that. And, uh, yeah, we're going to leave Wood out there. Wood's got a lot of innings. He pitched a lot of innings. He pitched over 100 innings all in relief that year um, in 1970. And Delgado is going to fly out. And that brings up Ed Sprague, who has, uh, like I said, not done anything, but there he gets a single. So he's one for four on the day, and that brings Dick Schofield to the plate. He doubled last time. He's going to hit a fly ball to right, but Darren Jackson's out there. He's a pretty good fielder. And that is an out. So we're down by three here in the ninth inning. Got to have it right here. And... Ventura Highway walk, ends up with a walk, which is great. Fisk, you know, I don't know about Fisk. Well, we got to let him hit. He does have power. They bring in Mike Timlin. Mike Timlin is coming in. He's going to hit a ground ball to Schofield. Let's see if um, not in time. So they got a fielder's choice. They got the lead runner at second. And Darren Jackson is the batter. And he's going to walk. So we've got two guys on. If we could get a, a dong here, we tie the game. But we've got Ozzie Gian up, so that's not going to happen. But he does hit a double. Nice. We're going to get at least one run there, maybe two. No, just one. So it is 6-4. Graybeck is the batter. You really, really have to consider right here maybe pinch hitting for Graybeck, even if you can't. Um... Let's see. Maybe Newsom. I mean, we're not going to have a second baseman if we do this. That's going to be that's the problem. But I'm uh, I'm going to do it anyway. And we'll just play Newsom at second. And he gets a base hit. And I'm going to send the lead runner 80%. I'm going to send the trailing runner and it looks like we did tie the game. So that, that panned out for us. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a good second baseman. But Tim Raines is up. Maybe Tim Raines can put us ahead. They bring in Woody Williams. Woody Williams is going to hit a fly, or uh, Raines is going to hit a fly ball off of Woody Williams. And they make the catch out there. Lance Johnson is the batter. And that was a wild pitch, I think. I'm losing my voice here. But that's a base hit by Johnson. We take the lead. I might have to go to the bullpen and get my closer, whoever that is. Frank Thomas is up. <coughs> Frank Thomas walks. What a comeback here. Belton Bill Melton is up. But he's going to ground out to short. All right, so we're going to just put Newsom at second base, even though he's not going to be good. And dare I do it? I am. I'm going to bring in Aaron Bummer from the 2020 White Sox to close it out. And they're going to pinch hit. They're going to have Mike Huff pinch hit. And he strikes out Mike Huff. Nice. We have a 7-6 lead here. It didn't look like there was any chance that was going to happen. He gets Alomar to fly out. And that brings up Molitor. And Molitor is going to fly out. Bummer is going to get a save. And uh, we're going to get a win for um, Wilbur Wood. 
So we'll get the box score here. We'll take a look here. This was uh, an improbable comeback. The White Sox beating the Blue Jays 7-6 to with four runs. Unbelievable four runs in the ninth inning to uh, win this game. McDowell went six. He allowed nine hits, walked two, and allowed six earned runs. But after that, the bullpen was just lights out. Wilbur Wood went two and allowed no runs. Bummer came in for the save, pitched one and allowed no runs. Henkin went eight, and he allowed four, but then the uh, Blue Jays' bullpen just fell apart. Timlin went a third of an inning and allowed three runs, and uh, Woody Williams went two-thirds of an inning. So uh, that is how we, uh, that's how we uh, end up here, and that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.